UFC Vegas 88 event recap, the best bits. <sighs> what a disappointing card. My picks were on points, I got 9 out of 13, um, but there was some absolute fuckery on this card that I'd, uh, I'd like to discuss. Taito Ivasa was quite clearly too busy making beer with Drink West to train any sort of submission defence. Orange Lucer got battered for a minute, got poked in the eye, and ironically, despite claiming to be unable to see, saw a way out of a fight he was losing. Searod played possum for two rounds, and in the third, he sprung his trap. He got the decision, and I did pick him. But, I, I, was, well, I was watching and I thought he'd lost one and two, and there was a good effort in the third, but it weren't enough, he had to get the finish. And somehow he got the decision. Now, there's an argument to be made that he, 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 was, he was just controlled in round one and two. There wasn't much damage landed. It was more just control time. And I think even in them rounds, he landed like one shot more in both. So, I don't know. Uh, what do you value, right? Um, I could... I could I, I, it's, hard. it's hard to say he won that, but it went in my favour. So, I'm not going to complain too much. I will point out, however, that um, it took an unusually long time for those scorecards to get handed in. So, yeah, I remember the, 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 the broadcast came back and fucking, I think it was Anna, was like, and here we are with the result. And then fucking, in a moment, is literally what he says. These guys are going to be waiting a little longer. And it was like, what's going on here? What's, what's the sitch? So, who knows what was going on there. Corey McKenna, possibly not Welsh. Or I just had a bad pick. <laughs> Honestly, the main card was a letdown. The debate will rage over the Rodriguez Dolgarian results for about another week until the next card happens, which looks like shit, by the way. Not an interest in happening on that card. Taito Ivasa got an unfortunate surprise on his birthday. Another loss on his record. It's not looking good for Ty. That's four in a row. Four in a row. It might be looking like BKFC time for Ty. Maybe his star power can get him one more fight in the UFC and maybe he can get a bit of a... A revival going. He is 31. He's got a couple of years left. He should be in his prime right now. So, it's a, it's a tough one. Um, I think he has got the star power. I know I said in my previous video, he probably doesn't have the star power, but, but I, I kind of feel like maybe he's, he's got enough star power to kind of carry him through one more fight. He's a fan favourite. Fingers crossed for Ty. Corey McKenna needs to fuck off back to whatever one pub, one church, Avon Town she's from and learn a little something about the history of catch wrestling. And finally, Orange Lusa, in the words of Brian Battle, is a fucking pussy. Thank you for watching until the end. What are your thoughts on this card? Do you think it was shit? What fights did you enjoy? Did you win any money? Let me know. And while you're down there, feel free to give me a little, just hit the like button, you know? And if you want to see more of this content, subscribe. I'm a small YouTuber right now, so, you know, I'll, I'll reply to all your comments. You know, I'll, I'll have a conversation with you if you're bored. Just leave me a comment. Just give me a like. Just hit that subscribe button. Peace and love. See you around.